Hello, I'm Kenneth Hemmler, and I'm the CEO and founder of Integrated Asset Management, a wealth management and financial planning firm. Today, we're going to talk about how you actually deduct and what you can deduct in goods, services, or possibly cash when it's given to a charity. Here's what the IRS looks at. The IRS is going to look at the type of property that you contributed in addition to, in addition to the methodology that you actually contributed that property. Let me give you an example. If the property is less than $250, there's no need to really get in any type of documentation, but it is highly advised. If it is greater than $250, whether it's cash or property, you must get a receipt from the charity and it must specify the actual amount of the gift and if there was any services, goods, or benefits that you received back in return. Let me give you an example. You are invited to a charitable dinner whether it's for the YMCA, Salvation Army, whatever it might be. The charity must provide back to you a receipt showing the amount of money that they actually received minus the cost or the economic benefit that you received back for that dinner. Now, the rules further explain that if you give that money to that charity, any type of public charity, and it exceeds $500, you must also attach form 8283 section A to your tax returns. That's a separate filing form. Now, if that tax deduction or the, forgive me, if the property actually exceeds $500,000, you must still attach form 8283, but now it's section B, and you must attach a qualified appraisal to your actual tax returns. You only need to attach the qualified appraisal, again, if, it, if the amount exceeds $500,000. A lot of times clients will ask me, well, what if I give something of $10,000? Do I need to send the appraisal to the IRS? The answer is no. If the amount that you contribute exceeds $5,000, you must get a qualified appraisal unless it's cash or stocks, which can be easily assessed by their actual valuation. And since the stock market is actually valued at the end of each day or the day that you give that property, there's no appraisal needed. Just the brokerage account statement showing the amount that was contributed and the day that it was contributed. But if it's other type of property, whether it be an airplane, boat, car, or even clothing furniture, you must attach the appraisal to a correction. You must attach the uh, form 8283 section B, but you don't need to actually attach the appraisal to the tax return. Hopefully that helps you understand what you can deduct and the proper methodology to getting the right forms to the IRS and make sure you get them on time. Thank you very much. Again, I'm Kenneth Himmler, CEO and founder of Integrated Asset Management.